In this video, we will see how to perform padding operations on any kind of image. So we have this image and we want to perform a padding operation. So we will be using Python and we will be using multiple libraries to do these operations. If you do not have these uh, libraries, you can use the file settings and then you can see the packages. You can add uh, the packages from the plus symbol that you can see. So uh, I already have these packages, so I will start using the functions. Now you can write the import statements and then to load the image, you have to write img is equal to img.open and the path name of the file. As you can see, this is the file in the, uh, the referenced image. After the image has been read, we'll convert it into a numpy array. So we'll write i is equal to np dot as array and we'll pass the img. Now to do the padding, we'll write a padding function. So we'll write def space zero padding and we'll pass the array which needs to be padded. So inside the function, first of all, we'll create a new array of zeros and the size of the new array will be rows plus two and columns plus two. That is the uh, number of rows in the original image, number of columns in the original image plus two because we are adding one zeros at both the ends, top and bottom, left and right. Now we'll iterate over the uh, the rows and the columns in the original image and use those values to update the i plus 1 or the g plus 1 index in the padded image. So after the for loop is completed, we'll replace the inner values with the original image and the outer values still remain 0. Uh, after this has been completed, you can choose to show your image using the matplotlib function. For that, we'll have to import matplotlib as plt and then plt.show and a return function which returns the uh, values. Now to call the function, we'll write padded i or padded image is equal to zero padding and then we'll pass the i, the i which has been loaded here, the array which has been loaded here. And as you can see that this is a three channel. So this is for the rows, this is for the columns, and this is the RGB channel. So we want that all the rows to be included, all the columns to be included, and only one channel to be included. So for now, we are performing the padding operation on only one channel. So let us see what is the result. So we'll press run. And as we can see that this padded image has been returned and there is a black line outside so which is the padding of zeros that we can see in the original image.